Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important question of mathematical physics. Now, this question is related to the topic contour integration, which is a very important topic for the upcoming CSIR Net Physics Exam as well as for the upcoming Gate Physics Exam. So now. In this video, when I'm going to discuss this particular question related to contour integration, I will also let you know about some of the very important points which we all should keep in mind when we are solving any question of this kind. So now let's just start the discussion and let's talk about all these important points. So guys, basically in this question, we are having this function given to us which is z square upon e to the power z plus 1. And we need to find the integration over the contour c. What is the contour here? It is mod z is equal to 4. Clear? So guys, what this contour equation is representing? It is representing that it is a circle having the center at the origin and radius 4 units. Okay? So if you are going to compare it or equate it with the standard equation of the circle, which is like mod z minus c is equal to r, where c will represent the circle, uh, center of the circle basically clear so here you can see z minus 0 is given to you which means the center is at origin clear and the radius is 4 units now guys after knowing about this thing about the contour when we are going to start solving this question what will happen so our first step is that we need to find the poles clear to find the poles we just need to equate the denominator with 0 so let's equate the denominator with 0 in this case Clear? So we'll get e to, the, e to the power z plus 1 is equal to 0, which means e to the power z is equal to minus 1. Now, how you can write minus 1? You can also write minus 1 as the exponential form. Clear? So we can write it e to the power iota odd multiple of pi. And to represent the odd value, we are writing it as 2n plus 1. Clear? Because when you will put n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 or so on to, okay, you are going to get the odd value here. Now guys, next thing, if I'm going to talk about the value of z, which will represent the pole, so that value we will get from here, after putting n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on to, you will get z is equal to iota pi, 3 iota pi, pi by iota pi and so on to, clear also odd values basically. Also guys, if I'm going to talk about the poles, which we need to consider to solve this kind of question or on which we will find the residue. So the poles which are existing within this contour, okay, which is a circle having the center at the origin and radius 4 units, clear? So whatever like poles which we are finding here, which we are having here, so if those poles are existing within the contour, then only you need to find the residue on that, clear? And one more thing guys, you can even write it like plus minus, okay? Similarly here, plus minus, plus minus. So you will get like... At the same value, you are getting two different poles. One positive, another one negative. Clear? So when it is the uh, circle having the center at the origin and radius 4 units, so you can see which pole will exist within that contour. This one, because pi is equal to 3.14, clear? So if you are saying 3.14 iota, clear? So this is like with positive and negative, both the terms, both the values will be within this contour. Clear, but if I'm going to talk about this one, 3 into 3.14, it will be approximately like 9 point something you will get, which will not exist within this contour, hence you will not consider this pole, you will also not consider this pole. Clear, so you are just going to consider these two poles. When you will find the residue on these two poles, guys, here you are having one very important point, like when we were finding the poles, we all know that that finite value of z, which can make our function infinity, is known as a pole. Clear? And for that, generally what we do, we equate the denominator with 0 in most of the cases. Clear? But here, again, after finding the pole, you can see since it was in the form of exponential, so you also need to write it in the form of exponential, depending on what value you are getting there. Okay? And once you are getting the exponential, okay, after that, guys, you can see in the function, okay, which is given to you, if exponential is present, to find the residue for a simple pole, what I mean by the simple pole, the order one pole. So here you can see that the overall 
power of e to the power z plus 1 was 1 which means the order of the pole is equal to 1. So all these poles were of order 1. Clear? So whenever the exponential will be involved in the given function, this is going to be the formula to find the residue. Clear? So residue of the function at z is equal to a will be equal to phi z upon sin as z at z is equal to a. So this is what we are going to prefer if the exponential is involved in the question. Okay? And we want to find the residue for that. So this is the formula which you will use to find the residue. Clear? Now next thing. When we are going to use this formula to find the residue, phi z is the numerator one. Clear? And psi is representing the denominator. So you need to find the differentiation, the first order derivative of the denominator part. And then after that, just put the value of the pole. So when you are going to do it in this manner, you will get phi squared. Similarly, for minus iota pi, when you will proceed in the same manner, you will get phi squared. After this, what will happen? After this, guys, the integration will be equal to 2 pi iota into sum of residue at the poles, which are lying within the contour. So, the poles uh, have given us the residues, pi square and pi square, clear? So, after solving it, you are just getting 4 pi cube iota, and which is option C, which is going to be the correct answer. So, you can see how simply, like, it's so simple to solve this question and just to proceed to get the final answer. Okay, but you just need to be careful at few points. What formula of residue will be the better one? It's not like that, that only with this you will get the answer. But this is something which makes the things more simple and easy for us. Clear? So if exponential is involved here, then this is what we are going to use for finding the residue. Clear? And rest of the things you can see I have already mentioned here. So I hope that each and everything which we have covered in this video will be clear to everyone. But still, if you will have any doubt at any point, what you can do, you can comment below this video and let me know about it. So guys, now I'm just going to provide you a very important information about the Unacademy Plus subscription. So if you are someone who want to attend like more regular live classes, clear by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation, then you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. After taking the subscription, you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators as well as there will be many other benefits like the weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions, PDF of important notes will be available to you, mock tests will be there, so which is going to help you a lot in your preparation. The best thing is that you will get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation. One more benefit is there guys that by using the referral code Anjali Arora in which you just need to write the A capital and all of the alphabets in small and just by applying this referral code Anjali Arora okay and no space in between you will get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. Also guys uh, let's say if any day you are not able to attend the live class you will also get the recordings of the live classes so that you can watch them later on and you can cover up the things which have been discussed, the topics which have been discussed during the live class. So that's how you will just not miss anything and you are going to get so many benefits by taking the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also guys, there are many Unacademy Plus courses going on on Unacademy Plus right now which will help you a lot in your preparation and will help you to take your preparation to the next level. So if you want to take the Plus subscription, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription for which uh, what are the steps you need to follow? Let me just tell you about them. Step number one is download the Unacademy Learning app. Step number two is log into the app. After logging into the app, if you are going to select the goal, just select uh, CSR UGC Net. If you are preparing for the CSR Net Physics exam or any category CSR Net exam, so select your goal as CSR UGC Net. After that, guys, you will get three lines at the left hand side corner. Just click on those three lines, then click on plus. After clicking on plus what you need to do, just click on the get subscription and follow the further steps. There you will get like a place to write the referral code where you can write Anjali Arora as a referral code. A-N-J-A-L-I-A-R-O-R-A, -A -A, no space in between, just first A should be capital, clear and apply the referral code to get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount. So guys, I hope that now each and everything which I have discussed in this video will be clear to everyone. And if you are new on this channel, what you can do, you can subscribe this channel just by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Okay. And uh, then after that, you can also watch many other videos which I have provided you on this channel that is Mission Ed Physics exam. So thank you very much everyone.
everyone for watching this video till the end even if you are having any doubt any query about the unacademy plus subscription you can comment below this video clear i've already explained each and everything about that so i hope that everything will be clear but still if you will have any doubt or query you can let me know about that so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end thank you